This is the free motion quilting video for Pea Gravel Bath. This design is stitched by first creating this series of spiral shapes. You're just kind of stitching into your quilting space, creating these large open spirals, and then travel stitching or echoing your way back out. So you're leaving this kind of spiral channels almost and you want to leave a lot of space between each of these shapes because that's where your pea gravel is going to go. That's where all of your uh, little bubbles are going to be filled in. So here you can see I'm stitching one last spiral into this area and I just kind of swirl around to create a little bubble on the end of the spiral and then echo my way all the way back to that starting line. You just want to make sure you take it slow and keep it consistent. Now I'm going to start filling and all I'm doing is just simply stitching kind of these oval shapes into this area. I wanted this design to not look like pebbling so much uh, simply because, I mean, you know, pebbling is its own design. I wanted this to look more like ovals, more like a mosaic. It was intentionally set up around these spirals to be quite a formal design. So I'm taking these, I'm stretching them down, making them nice and long to stretch into each of these areas. And being very careful to keep them kind of consistently growing or consistently moving uh, as they swirl up and around this space. And here you can see I'm going to kind of bounce on and get a little further in the video. And you can see how this starts to take an effect. You can see I'm kind of taking these oval shapes and travel stitching around and swirling them out and filling in whatever gap I have between those spirals. I'm not going to fill it with randomly sized pebbles. I'm going to fill it with one single large oval, one single piece of pea gravel. And it gives this almost a fiddlehead fern look. It really creates an interesting texture and it's something that you should play with and just experiment with because if you can do this just with ovals and spirals just think what else you can do playing with many different designs playing with flowing lines just experimenting to see what textures you can get from these shapes. So it's just kind of a lot of fun and really there's a limitless of how you can use this of where you can put it in your quilts. I would say that this is probably going to work better and fit easier into an art quilt or a wall hanging than a bed quilt. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Pea Gravel Path. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting plus loads of tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out freemotionproject.com.